welcome back to Tony Northeastern and uh, another episode of me messing around on the railway. Um, that was the New Hassel Non Stopper. Um, it doesn't stop much. Right, so here we are <laughs> over at Time Dock. Now, recent videos is highlighted. Um, Quite a few things wrong with Tyne Dock. Um, basically, Tyne Dock Station was finished around about seven years ago, and it's beginning to show its age. It's absolutely covered in dust, so it's time for a clean up. Um, we don't often see this where people clean up uh, their layouts. You see a lot regarding cleaning track. Uh, etc but not for cleaning up their station areas and buildings and etc so I thought I'd do a video on this it's, it's probably something or nothing but <laughs> you can just see here it's just covered in dust probably seven years worth like I said but um, it's one of those jobs if you don't, if you leave it long enough, next thing you know, you'd have cobwebs and weeds growing where you, <laughs> you wouldn't, that you didn't put them down in the first place. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to clean up Tyne Dock Station and see if we can, um, well, make it look a little bit better for the videos. And also, these bare walls. I've been looking at these and thinking it's about time we put some posters along these walls. Um, as you can see I've put in one of them um, Art Deco bush shelters. Uh, see we've got posters there. Quite made quite famous by the Hole in the Wall gang. That was a few years back as well. So yeah, so it's time to clean up. Pine dock. People in the past have jokingly said, why do these figures have ice cubes on their feet? And now you know the reason why. Because now, if I'm doing a clean-up job, they're not glued. I can just remove them all and um, clean the platforms. And uh, that's why I don't glue anything down. Um, just for this purpose, obviously that seat's glued down, but uh, I'm not worried about that. But the thing is, when we put the figures back, we can create a different scene, different people talking to each other, and that's so forth. And uh, yeah, that's why I don't glue the figures down. Even some of the buildings are not glued down, so we'll just uh, remove the gents and we'll put that back in the same place. Uh, still a few more figures to move. Um, even the buildings are not glued down. There's enough length in that cable there to move it out of the way for when I'm cleaning. And uh, there's still a few more figures over here to move. And uh, we've got the station master there with these. Uh, Dog Ben talking to Hercule Perrault. Ah, uh, mon ami, what's going on here? And keep your hands off me. Sorry, Perrault, but I've got to move you out of the way. Put me down. Better pick him up gently. I don't want to bite my fingers. Right. So there we go. We've moved all the figures. Now it's time for a clean sweep. So what I'll do first is I'll just give it a quick hoover first. That just gets all the, the heavy dust off and any bits and pieces. You can see straight away the difference that it's making. The, the grey has gone a little bit darker. Yeah. 
What I'll do now is just lift the buildings gently out of the way. There's enough length on the cable to do this. And then do the same with this little hut. Even the main station's got plenty of length on the cables for me to move it out the way so I can um, hoover up in and around the area. Okay, so that's the hoovering done. Right, now that I've cleaned the platforms, just getting a, uh, an ordinary antibacterial wipe here. Um, not a damp one, but... Uh, and then just cleaning up the platform with an antibacterial wipe. Look at that, seven years worth of dust and grime. And that's on what? A foot of platform. So we'll just do the same here. And that way I can put the station building back. Look at that. <laughs> so let's put the building back. Never seen so much dirt. I'll even give the rooftops a bit of a clean as well. Now oh, that's a massive improvement that looks. It looks too clean now. <laughs> Can't win. No, but uh, that's a lot better. So what I'll do is while I'm here, I might as well clean the track using a trusty bit of uh, shimmy leather. Because the track's pretty clean. But it may have some dust particles on it. So just give that Clean. Mm, yeah, that's. There's a lot of trains come through here, anyways. It's always quite busy on the old photo shoots. So yeah, so we've cleaned the tracks and then we've cleaned the platforms and it's just a case of putting everything back as it was. Or I might create some new cameos as different people chatting to different people possibly. That's the thing about um, not gluing anything down. You can always rearrange how you want your station platforms to look. And after all that, I've put the same old faces in the same old places. Um, so really, I could have stuck them down. <laughs> ah dear. Anyway, that's a big improvement. And life goes on at Tain Dock. Um, but meanwhile, off camera, little changes have been taking place. Um, a few weeks back, we built 
these retro bus shelters and now I'm starting to put them in and around the layout so I've put one here and um, by doing that I've had to change the colorings on this bus shelter here um, originally it had yellow panels uh, the panels were on the upper side of the bush shelter and I've moved them down to the base of the bush shelter so I'm keeping the colour scheme of all my bush shelters roughly the same um, well because they're in the same area that's that's my thinking so by doing one scene um, I'm creating uh, a similar scene throughout the layout and I've done exactly the same here with this bush shelter here I've removed the yellow panels and replaced them with white panels um, they're still squeaky clean at the moment they need a little bit of weathering but this is what happens when you build a layout it's forever evolving you do one thing and you think mm, yeah it looks out of place it might need a bit of a change so why not why not so so shields here will need a, a revamp but that uh, may be for a, another time and another video because let's face it this station has only been up for about two years now since the roof was built meanwhile back at Tyne Dock these giant walls are crying out for advertising boards and um, that's what we're going to do next so let's mosey on over to the bench I think I'd be saying this this week, but um, here we are, back at the bench. <laughs> right, so what we're going to be doing, as we just said just now, is we're going to be doing some advertising boards. Now, these are 1950s advertising posters. They're from my favourite uh, kit builders, Kingsways, um, and they're quite cheap. I think you get two different... Um, pages, pages one and two um, for about uh, I think it was five I think it was um, yeah so I'm just looking through some of these some of these I've never seen before um, Capstan, I've never heard of them before um, the old advertisement for um, gas heating um, Overall, yeah, I've heard of them, but yeah, some interesting advertisements here which are going to go on the walls. So, what I'm going to do, what I have noticed, some of the widths are slightly different. Uh, this one's nearly 84 millimeters, this one is just about 83 millimeters, um, but the widths are all the same. Um, 
44 millimeters. So I've cut a strip of 44 and it's just a case of cutting them down to make them to suit each individual um, advertising board. So that's 83 and a half and that one's just under 83. So it does pay to measure before you cut any of your card um, to suit the poster. Once you've cut the backing card, what I've done, because I'm doing so many of them, I'm numbering them up. So that two will always go with two, especially if they're all different um, sizes. Right, so for sticking the posters onto the poster boards, I'm just using a little bit of uh, PVA. Um, probably no different to what the guys did back in the day. Alright, which one shall I have? Yeah, Swing Vistas matches. Stick that in the middle. I'm from the northeast, I'll have the remember the Chara March. What I like about these 1950s um, posters is the colours. The colours are just so bright and varied, and um. They bring um, a different look to a layout, especially in um, this period of the 1950s and 60s. Um, you can get advertising posters in the 70s and 80s, um, but I do like the way that these set the background of this layout as you will see in the final shots and uh, yeah so just stick this one in here and then this finishes off this section of the wall and we got McDougal's flower and walls ice cream. Have a Wallsy, good and big. Buy it where you can see the wall sign. Classic. With a few strategically placed vehicles, along with the advertising posters, really does set the scene for this lower road at Tyne Dock. Um, although it's not quite finished yet because there's still um, some lamp posts to add. But it's another step closer to finishing off this railway. So you're probably wondering why 
<laughs> I'm doing this well. This job has been crying out to be done for a long time. Um, ever since Tyne Dock was finished. And um, like I said earlier on, looking at previous videos has reminded me that these little jobs need doing and um, basically if they don't get done they'll never get done and uh, and it's worth it um, yeah so what I'll do is I'll put the PVA glue on sign to start with and then just leave that to soak into the card and it makes the signs less slippery and they stick straight to the wall uh, when we come to put them on um, it's all about creating well the dream as it were um, I mean those of you who've got layouts are probably thinking the same thing we, we build them um, just for fun and uh, we create our little mini worlds through doing things like this right so that's been left for a while so we can hang this one now Place that there. That's really getting a grip there. Reading the comments, uh, a few of you have asked to see the layout from the passengers view that means looking out of the window as the train um, would go around the layout so what I've done is I've turned the camera around at 90 degrees just to see what we would see instead of just looking at the tracks ahead so I think that is going to be interesting to see so let's give it a go
right so here we are at the end of a, another video and it's been a little bit different this week um, we've had a little bit of tidy up on the platforms and got rid of those nasty cobwebs and uh, <laughs> it, it, it was good to do something slightly different you might not have found it interesting but um, all these little details do help in creating a model railway. Um, we will be back at Time Dock because there's a signal box to go here. And there's also a point to be put in here to um, make it easy to get locomotives from the depot up to South Shields. So there is more work to do here at Tyne Dock and there's also uh, that signal box over there which has a light in it and there's no detail in it so that has got to come off the layout and put some detail inside um, yeah, because when I turn the light on, I look across and I look straight into there and there's nothing in it. And um, that's the disadvantage of putting lights into buildings without details inside. So that's another job. Anyway, I think that's all for me this week. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Bye.